Section 14 of Goblins and Pagodas by John Gould Fletcher. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Nemo. Gray Symphony. One. Up on the hillside, a long row of larches shake from their grizzled beards the vestiges of rain. From gray blue, melting ice slabs neath their arches, the spring goes up again. Writhing, exuding, up steaming, streaming, the earth is breathing to the sky wet clouds of spring. Dim rosy fans, the trees as they flick to and fro, seem driving grayish vapor over the snow. The sky remodulates itself, from violet gray to blue under the upturned eaves of the blue larches the sun looks through now with the heat of the sun the gray blue ice slabs quiver they slide in muddy trickles towards the river up on the hillside between the long row of larches fume up from south pale clouds that bear the rain in pearl and violet arches they break and shape again. Two. I have seen in the evening the grayish violet clouds roll wearily back from northward to the place whence first they came. One or two orange lamps burnt low against deep purple hills. The wind was hurrying, bundling them together. The pines awoke to sing the song of the snow buzzing and screaming on its one string i have seen within my heart crocuses purple and gold drop cold and dull and colorless beneath the snow one or two orange lamps burnt low vain memories the wind has driven me too many winters my songs are snowflakes whirling about my breast. I will wrap my frozen and bitter songs about me in one gray drift and rest. 3. Fluttering and soft the snow flings outward, swirls and settles, but when I try to seize it, the wind tears it away. Through poised green platforms of enormous pines, I see far hilltops pushing up blue roofs. Snow comes and hums through the woof of the lower branches. It skips and dances. It drops in sluggish folds of gray to where the frozen rhododendron bushes with lower air gusts play and the earth hushes its movement fluttering soft the snow is blent in long loose spirals with my dream it is all i have the snow and i know that when i chase it it will fly for me beyond the lifeless green beyond the low blue hills beyond the pale straw-colored glare down in the west it goes straight southward where the purple-orange flare of sunset flows, and into the blackened heart of my last rose pours its despair. Fluttering, soft, and dim, regrets that skip and skim, gray in the gray twilight. Slim and weary whirls the snow, and where it goes, I too shall go. 4. Of my long nights afar in alien cities, I have remembered only this. There were black scarves, all dusted over with silver, in which I wrapped my dreams. There were black screens, on which I made those pictures that faded out next day. Youth without glory, manhood one mad struggle, maturity a battle without trumpet calls, Long gleams from pallid suns seen only in my dreaming struck those dissolving walls. 
and of my days i only know they slipped and fell like two brief sunsets into the hill ravines that held the snow three lofty pines at the corners of my heart waited apart they only see in the mystery of the gray sky the jagged clouds that fly endlessly end of section section 15 of goblins and pagodas by john gould fletcher this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by nemo poppies of the red year a symphony in scarlet one the words that i have written to me become as poppies deep angry disc of scarlet flame full glowing in the stillness of a shut room silken their edges undulate out to me drooping on their hairy stems flaring like folded shawls down curved like rockets starting to break and shatter their light wide flaunting and heavy crinkle-lipped blossom darting faint shivers through me globed chinese lanterns on green silk cords a swaying over motionless pools these are lamps of a festival of sleep held each night to welcome me crimson bursting through dark doors out to the dull blue heavy fumes of opium rolling from their rent red hearts i go to seek my dream Two. A riven wall like a face half torn away stares blankly at the evening and from a window like a crooked mouth it barks at the sunset sky and over there beyond on plains where night has settled tent-like encampments of vaporous blue smoke or mist three men are riding one of them looks and sees the sky one of them looks and sees the earth the last one looks and sees nothing at all. They ride on. One of them pauses and says, It is death. Another pauses and says, It is life. The last one pauses and says, Tis a dream. His bridle shakes. The sky is filled with oval, violet tinted clouds through which the sun, long settled, strikes at random enkindling here and there blotched circles of rosy light these are poppies unclosing immense corollas waving the horsemen on over the earth upheaving folding they ride their bridles shake one of them sees the sky is red one of them sees the earth is dark the last man sees he rides to his death yet he says nothing at all three there will be no harvest at all this year for the gaunt black slopes arising lift the wrinkled aching furrows of their fields falling away to the rainy sky in vain but in the furrows there is grass and many flowers scarlet tossing poppies flutter their wind-slashed edges on which gorged black flies poise and sway in drunken sleep the black flies hang above the tangled trampled grasses gray crumpled bundles lie in them they sprawl heave faintly and between their stiffened fingers run out to clogged crimson trickles spattering the poppies and standing in beads on the grass Four. I saw last night sudden puffs of flame in the northern sky. The sky was an even expanse of rolling gray smoke, lit faintly by the moon that hung its white face in a dead tree to the east. Within the depths of greenish grayish smoke were roars, crackles, and spheres of vapor, 
and then huge disk of crimson shooting up falling away and i said these are flower petals sleep petals dream petals blown by the winds of a dream but still the crimson rockets rose they seemed to be one great field of immense poppies burning evenly casting their viscid perfume to the earth the earth is sown with dead and out of these the red blooms are pushing up advancing higher and each night brings them nigher closer closer to my heart five by the sluggish canal that winds between thin ugly dunes there are no passing boats with creaking ropes today but when the evening crouches down like a hurt rabbit under the everlasting rain cloud whirling up the north horizon downwards on the stream will float glowing points of fire orange coppery scarlet crimson rosy flickering they pass the lanterns of the unknown dead out where the sea sailless is mouthing and fretting its chaos of pebbles and dried sticks by the dunes by the wall of that house that looks like a face half torn away and from its flat mouth barks at the sky the sky which is shot with broad red disk of light petals drowsily falling six it was not for a sacred cause nor for faith nor for new generations that unburied we roll and float beneath this flaming tumult of drunken sleep flowers but it was for a mad adventure something we longed for poisonous seductive that we dared go out in the night together towards the glow that called us on the unsown fields of death now we lie here reaped ungarnered red swaths of a new harvest but you who follow after must struggle with our dream and out of its restless and oppressive night filled with blue fumes dull choking you will draw hints of that vision which we hold aloof in silence end of section end of goblins and pagodas by john gould fletcher